Hey guys, Scott here with a new beer dissection video for you. Um, what I picked up recently, let me get right to what I have. Um, what I picked up was from Sam Adams. They have a compilation pack called Beer Fest. I'm probably pop over my shoulder. It has a uh, pumpkin beer, which I have today, a Oktoberfest, a hoppy lager, um, Munich Dunkel. They got roughly, there's four beers, three of each. You got that 12 pack. I love those compilation packs. If you do follow me on this channel, You'll know why. I, I explain it many times. You get a nice profile of the beers. Um, so I'm filming this, like I said, towards the end of uh, August. Oktoberfest is coming up in about three weeks. I think it's, I want to say it's September 16th or 19th. Remember, it's usually the last, starts around the last two weeks of September, runs into about the first Sunday in October until about 12 noon. At the end of this video, I'm probably going to put that video up there. If you haven't watched it yet, I just filmed it a week or two ago. I go into a lot of the details about Oktoberfest, a little bit of the history. Um, I do a beer dissection on Hofbra House, Oktoberfest beer. And I talk about the difference between Fest beer and Mertzen and stuff like that. Because in this compilation pack, there's also their, their Sam Adams Oktoberfest, which has been around for eons. They brew a more of a Mertzen style, which is the darker style. The Fest beer style, like I explained that video and why I'm going to put it at the end of this, explains, you know, what the lighter style beer is like and that's really what they drink a lot so i'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to avoid right now going down that wormhole too much but take a look at that video if you are a beer geek like myself you may find some of this stuff interesting or maybe you weren't too aware of it so this one from the sam adams pack is called jacko like probably jacko lantern it's their pumpkin ale and i gotta admit pumpkin ale pumpkin beers are not typically my favorite but i do a beer channel so i do want to review them a little bit now remember with pumpkin beer, very rarely do they actually use real pumpkin. And if they use, use pumpkin, because pumpkin usually has really no flavor to it, um, unless they roast it. Now I got a buddy who, if he watches this, he's a home brewer. I got him into home brewing years ago, even though he brews more than me these days. He, you know, he roasts his pumpkin and puts in the beer and it makes a great beer. Usually the pumpkin beers are gonna just be using pumpkin spices. And now what's pumpkin spices? Let me test myself. Usually they use gi some ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, sometimes allspice. Just depends on the concoction. But if you grab your pumpkin spice from your grocery store and the spice thing, that's kind of what you're getting. And that's really the flavors. That's why sometimes you'll see, you know, beers ranging from kind of a, you know, dark straw to even like copper color because a lot of times the base beer is like a typical amber ale. Sometimes some of them use like a lager recipe and then use the spices. Some of them use like an amber ale type of color. So as the base beer and they add a lot of the, the pumpkin spices to it. So again, don't think that you're getting a lot of pumpkin in there. A lot of brewers don't want to use pumpkin because it clogs up the equipment a lot. Again, I don't want to speak for every brewery. If you are in a brewery and you use real pumpkin, please let me know. Um, other than my buddy and probably some others, it's usually just a messy process. So usually what people like to crave is the pumpkin spices. You know, again, allspice, uh, ginger, cinnamon, uh, uh, nutmeg, you know, so whatever ratios they want to use. So I'm assuming this one is like that. This is coming in at... 4.4% alcohol, 8 IBU. So this is going to have very low bitterness. Bitter hops are not going to be. And it, they do say natural flavors and pumpkin added. Wheat ale brewed with lemon peel with natural flavors. So this is going to be really odd. Um, I may do another video just strictly on pumpkin beer with it, something that actually uses uh, those spices. So they're probably, I, I got to believe they're putting, where is it? Cinnamon nutmeg aromas. Okay, so I don't know. I'm hoping they're actually using the real spices. Who the hell knows these days? You know, maybe they're just using uh, artificial tinctures and things like that. But I'm actually was quite shocked because, like I said, when I do some of these beer, vid beer videos, I haven't had these beers before. I think I've had this before. Um, it's been at least a year or two. Uh, but I am actually was taken back when I saw the wheat ale brewed with lemon peel with natural flavors and pumpkin added. So they're actually using pumpkin. I don't know how much they're using. I don't trust some of these guys too much um, because I know from brewers that do things a little more commercially, they really try to avoid using real pumpkin because it just clogs everything up. 
So anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's open this bad boy and, and take a look at it. So like I said, it's a little over 4%, so this is very sessionable, okay? And I got nothing off camera too impressive here, uh, but just a regular shaker pint. And the beer got delivered here not that long ago, so even though I pour more aggressively, it's extra aggressive now because I think the beer got shooken up a little bit. So bear with me when I show you this to show this to you, but you got, you know, <laughs> more inches than I would like of, you know, a white to maybe kind of like uh, uh, manila looking kind of foam there. And the color of it has that kind of classic, you know, dark straw, light amber color, pretty clear. No haze there at all. I'm surprised sometimes if they did use actually pumpkin, you know, some of the pectins and stuff on there that would maybe cloud the beer up somewhat. So that's kind of a little suspicious, but let's take a look at it. I usually like when I get the pumpkin beers, I usually prefer them using a darker amber base beer, copper base beer. You, know, you just kind of get a, a little more feel for pumpkin beer, you know, if they actually had roasted and things like that. So let's take a sip of the aroma. Oh yeah. So I get nutmeg right off the top. I, I, there's one Italian dish I use with nutmeg and you can smell it immediately. On the long sniff, you kind of get a little cinnamon there too. Nutmeg. I'm not a big expert on allspice. I, I should get some more and train a little bit more with allspice, but if it's in there, possibly. Um, but definitely nutmeg. And there is, what they say, there was some lemon in this. There was a little citrus note there, so there probably is a little lemon. You know, they said it's a wheat, you know, wheat, wheat ale base, so, you know, I don't actually see. Wheat usually has a little bit more protein in it, so sometimes you are going to get a little bit more haze. And this is pretty clear. Okay, maybe a slight chill haze. But you definitely, if you had your eyes closed, you'd be thinking of Thanksgiving, Halloween, Okay, and remember, this is not my most favorite style of beer. There possibly my playlist is, you know, I've done so many, I've done over 200 something videos. They're in the what is style. I probably have a pumpkin beer. I know I did Pumpkin from Southern Tier. Uh, so that's either on, that's probably both under either what is style or beer dissection. And that beer is phenomenal. Without a doubt, I, can, I do smell a little bit of that citrus with, Nutmeg and cinnamon. Who the hell, you know, <laughs> kudos to them. Again, I, um, you know, a little suspicious on, you know, I'm hoping they're using the actual spices and not using little medicinal tinctures. I'm going to taste it if I think it smell, it tastes medicinal here, but it smells pretty good. Definitely smells like pumpkin pie. Um, you know, if you had some of those, uh, remember as a kid, we used to make those things. We used to put like, you know, uh, nutmeg and things and it would be like an aromatic type of thing in your house around the, the uh, Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving or Halloween to Thanksgiving, excuse me. But there is a little citrus there on the nose. Lemon, you know, you want to say lemon lime? I'm going to say lemon because I think they said lemon. But you definitely get the, the uh, pumpkin spices, okay? So cheers, guys, or prost or whatever. I'm sitting before... Oktoberfest before Halloween. Pretty low carbonation. Even though it's been sitting in the glass a little bit, I may have lost a little bit. Low to medium bodied. But I did get a blast of that nutmeg cinnamon. I don't know if they're using ginger. I don't think there's ginger. There may be ginger. I mean, you know, pumpkin spice, I think, has technically could have a little ginger and allspice in there. Um, but definitely nutmeg and cinnamon I'm getting on there, on the palate. No alcohol, alcoholic warmth, but at 4%, 4.4, 4 whatever I said to you. 4.4. Um, I don't get the citrus on the taste buds here. bad you know but I've definitely had a lot better um, 
you know, it's kind of like, again, you get in that pumpkin spice. It looks like they're putting it, like they say, Weed Ale, which Weed Ale, you know, uh, American Blonde is probably what it looks like, American Wheat maybe, the base beer. Like, essentially no bitterness at all. Um, even on the aftertaste as I'm talking to the camera or you guys, um, you kind of get a hit with that cinnamon. Um, but the body's kind of light. There's really not a lot of, like, you know, oomph to it. You know, like, you just want a little bit more malt backbone to it than just strictly wheat. Um, you know, you, you know those spices, you know, a you know, some crystal malt, some brown malt, you know, uh, you know, more of a beer that's closer to a brown ale can really hold up to those spices very good and kind of dance. I think even Anchor's Christmas Ale, I think, uses a combination of that. But you definitely get the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Uh, but the body is a little meek there as far as the body and just the malt backbone on it. Um, and I don't think you need the citrus. I don't think that this really should have citrus in it. You know, lemon, wheat and lemon. Like, I don't know. Just that, 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 that doesn't work that well with me. Um, so grade-wise, guys, uh, you know, as far as overall drinkability, I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a C. Uh, not really that impressed with it. I mean, it, it, listen, I enjoy beer, like trying different styles. I haven't had a pumpkin beer in quite a bit. So I'll probably enjoy the rest of this can, but, you know, it's not that great. Um, compared to other pumpkin beers, very low. I'm going to say D um, because I, I didn't even know pumpkin from Southern Tier is a lot better. And there's a lot of other pumpkin beers that, again, I, I don't know why they want to shy away from giving a little bit more of an amber ale, maybe even as, as dark as a brown ale or even a porter. Um, maybe with not much roast there, but like throw the spices in there because it could really hold up the cinnamon and the nutmeg. So I'm really not that impressed with this one. Um, it's like I said, D, as far as comparing it to other beers, uh, not, that, that, not that impressed. So anyway, guys, um, today's beer dissection, Sam Adams Jack-O-Lantern, or ja I, I said Jack-O-Lantern, but it's Jacko technically. It's their pumpkin ale. Um, there's a lot better out there. Uh, it does, you know, listen, if you want something, this is easy drinking because it is probably a base wheat ale. Uh, I'm not even going to say American Blonde or American Wheat. It's just kind of just this basic wheat ale with no bitterness, no malt backbone. Um, you can definitely find a lot better out there. I think even locally, they're the brewing better pumpkin ate be beers. If you like that shot of nutmeg cinnamon, this will give it to you. You know, you know, I really like light beer with a little cinnamon nutmeg. This beer you may actually enjoy. Um, and there's some of you out there that probably do enjoy it. I've just had too many pumpkin beers in the past. And even though it's not my favorite style, I usually like it with a little bit more malt backbone, more like a brown ale, amber brown ale, um, maybe even push and porter. Like I think Southern Tier, if I remember correctly, almost pours like a porter. Um, and then you hit me with the coriander, nutmeg, uh, cinnamon, things like that. I just feel just, it, it can, those spices really can be, you know, held up in a, a nice darker style beer. Um, but that's just my opinion on it. You guys may have a different opinion. Feel free to, feel free to chime in. So anyway, guys, today's beer dissection Sam Adams Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Ale. It is pumpkin season coming up, even though we're still technically in the summer and we're not quite Labor Day when I'm filming this. Um, but I will tag, hopefully at the very end of this, the Oktoberfest video. This is under the Beer Fest. The Beer Fest pack from Sam Adams has actually been pretty good so far. Uh, I haven't reviewed all the beers yet, but I would definitely check that out. It, you know, Earlier in the video, I had it probably, probably popping, popping up over my shoulder. This one is just very meek, and I, I, I don't really find it that great. Um, I, I won't pour it down the drain. I'll drink the, the other two, three cans that I have here, but it, it's just really subpar. Um, I did record a Munich, their Munich Dunkel and their Oktoberfest. Um, those are better than this one, but anyway, guys, I won't go down in the wormhole there. Till the next beer dissection video or beer video in general, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.